Welcome to the final part of this tutorial series where we're creating a quiz game in Scratch. And in this video, we're going to be adding a timer to the game. So let's begin. To get started, we're going to go to our question sprite and we're just going to add a variable called timer and tick for all sprites. Then we're going to right click on this and make it a large readout and put it in the middle center. Now what we need to do is we're going to upload a brand new sprite and the link for this sprite is in the description. And we're going to change the size of this to 10 and then call this the, the timer. And then we can just put this right here. I can actually just call this timer image instead. Now we go back to our question and we're going to create a brand new script. So first we go to events and we're going to create a brand new message. And this message is going to be called start, start timer. And then we're going to set timer to five. And then we're going to go to um, the sounds and we're going to import a brand new sound and the link for the timer image and the sound is in the description it's just a sticking clock and if you count one two three four five and then after this fifth tick we just select the rest and delete it and then we go back to the code then we're going to we're going to play sound ticking clock and then forever then we're going to bring in an if else statement. So the if else statement is going to be um, as long as timer is greater than zero. And if it is, then we're going to wait one second and change timer by negative one. So the time is going to decrease over time. Um, every second we'll have our timer decrease by one. And then we're going to go to events and broadcast um, so we're going to broadcast wrong answer. So if the time is um, equal to zero, then that means um, we're going to lose a heart. And once we've lost the heart, we're just going to wait one second. And then we're going to take the code from here to restart the timer. So now we just want to broadcast start timer when I receive correct answer and when flag is clicked. So let's start and see what happens if we don't answer the question. That will lead us to lose a heart, but if we manage to answer the question before the time is up, then we'll get, um, we'll get, we'll move on to the next question and the timer will reset. So we also want to start the timer when we receive the wrong answer. So we'll say when I receive wrong answer, we'll also restart the timer. And the reason we're doing this is to ensure that if the player gets the answer wrong, they can try to rethink. They'll be given more time to rethink their answer. And yeah, there we go. So we added a timer to ensure that the player can go ahead and Google or do too much thinking. We want this to be a quick quiz game. So that's, that's what we've done. We added a timer. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is the end of the tutorial series. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial series and learned something. If you did like it, please make sure to smash the like button and, and make sure to support the channel by subscribing and also turning on post notifications so you don't miss the next tutorial series. And that's it for this video. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.